Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a fashion haul. I have a huge, huge Zara haul. There was just so many bits which I have been eyeing up um, so I thought I would place a big order and I love like 90% of these items. I'm going on holiday soon so a lot of these items are like spring, summer um, outfits cannot wait to show you i've been waiting forever i've been waiting forever for these pieces and as i'm filming this video i'm still waiting for one item to arrive but i just thought you know what i'm going to get this video filmed because it was supposed to go at least two days ago on wednesday today is friday i'm going to try and get it up today but i have a busy day i have a lot going on today so i don't know whether i'm gonna have enough time to sit down and edit this video for like three hours before i get started i just want to introduce myself hi my name is josephine i'm a fashion content creator here on youtube i'm mainly on instagram if you want to see more like daily content then head over to my instagram i do a lot more fashion content on there street style content that whole thing for your reference i am five foot eight so i'm on the taller side um, so I always get that question, I am 5'8", 172 centimetres tall, blazer which I am wearing is old Topshop, so I won't be able to link it and all of my jewellery is from Monica Vinida, so yeah, all of my jewellery is from Monica Vinida and I have... I have a 20% discount code which I think is like an ongoing code so if it's still working then I will leave that in the description box so you can get 20% off all of my jewellery pieces from Monica Benader. I tend to do my hauls in favourite to least favourite or things that really work for me and things that really didn't work for me. Um, I'm going to show you this dress. So I saw this dress in store and I don't know why I didn't pick it up. This is what's been causing the delay. And it's not just this one because I liked it so much that I also picked up the green version and the green version still hasn't arrived. Hopefully um, I'll insert, I'll be able to insert a little clip of me trying on the green version. By the way, if you hear any background noise, I do apologise. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Um, Jack is working in his office. Sometimes he can speak a little bit loud and he doesn't realise it, but I have to film my content, so we just have to make it work. Anyway, this is a dress here. It's like, um, it's not tie-dye. I don't know what the print is called. It's like a multicolour print. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a boob tube kind of dress. It just flows down. It's made of like that tulle material. It's a nice tulle material as well. It's not scratchy because sometimes this material can be a little bit scratchy, a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but this one is gorgeous. It's got ruching. It's got ruching on the side. It's just beautiful it just fits perfectly these are the kind of dresses which i love to wear on holiday and i love this dress so much that i also got it in the green version to be completely honest the green version is the one which i really really loved that's the one that caught my eye and i was stalking the zara website for like days and days and days waiting for the green version to become available and when it did i quickly um checked out bought it however it's weird like i've done the majority of this order in one big order but i had at least five deliveries i do not know what's going on with zara and their like logistics um but yeah i did the majority of this order in one apart from that one dress um and everything's coming like five different packages and um, things have been delayed it's just normal i remember when you could order from zara and everything either came next day delivery or within like a couple of days i ordered these things like a week ago and over a week ago actually and i'm still waiting for things to come anyway i'm not complaining we're just talking about clothes it's nothing serious but it's a little bit I'm confused. Anyway, I'm going to be cheeky here and I need to show you guys this dress from Abercrombie. Uh, so this is more like a daytime summer dress and so many of you guys love it on my Instagram that I just had to show it on here as well. This is the dress which I am talking about. I was shooting this dress with my friend, um, like doing some street style content um, about a week ago with my friend and I kid you not, I've never had more compliments on any dress like this. Never. I had people literally, several people stopping me like, being like, where is this dress from? I've got a graduation, this is exactly what I'm looking for, can you tell me where this dress is from? And my friend, she's so sweet, she was like, follow her on Instagram, she's got a discount code. So yes, I have an Abercrombie discount code for you all. So Abercrombie have currently got a promotion where they're doing 25% off site-wide, and then I actually have a discount code, which gets you an additional 
15% off everything. Well, not everything, but there are some exclusions. It gets you an extra 15% off the website. Um, so up to like, I know it's not quite 35% because that's not how the maths works, but do, do you know what I mean? Is that even 35%? Can I even do maths? No, 40%. So you can get 25% off plus my discount code. And best of all, my 15% off code works worldwide because I get loads of questions I get loads of DMs for you guys being like, I've tried this code and it doesn't work. And my first question is always, where do you live? Because if you don't live in the UK or you don't use the like EU Abercrombie website, then the code, then my code usually doesn't work. Like it won't work in the US and like other parts of the world. This time I asked Abercrombie and they delivered. So my code works worldwide. It only works until the 22nd, which I believe is Sunday, so you only have a few days to use my code, um, but, I will leave all of the but I will leave all of the details in the description box. Anyway, this dress is just stunning, it has ruching, you can wear it off the shoulders, it has pockets, it comes in multiple other colours, there's also, there's also the shorter version, so you can actually get the shorter version as well, so if you like to like, show your legs and all that kind of thing, I actually got the tall version, um, and the tall version fits me perfectly, they have the petite, regular and tall, um, I think I got it in a size small, I got it in a size small, next dress here, I have another kind of like boob chibi dress, so this one is like a denim dress, now I've been speaking to my friend Didi for the longest time, I've been after this this denim dress for I don't know four months I don't know since the beginning of the year I basically saw the darker version on Instagram a while back and I was like I absolutely love this dress I need it it sold out pretty much immediately and then they brought out this one which is still dark which is still a dark denim but it's slightly lighter than the one which had just come out they've also got one which is denim but it has like contouring lines and oh it's so beautiful i've signed up to be notified when it becomes available because the minute it does become available i need that one as well um but for now i'm loving this one i cannot cannot wait to wear this on holiday just imagine wearing this with that gold jewelry with like all that new sandals just uh, i just i'm like you know oiling up your declarage is that what you call it declarage um oiling it up putting like nice oil on your skin smelling of coconut you know that holiday smell that holiday feel getting that holiday glow from the sun that is what i visualize um when i think about this dress i think it's absolutely beautiful i got it and it was 50 pounds which i mean everything's so expensive nowadays so 50 pounds in today's um climate is reasonable i guess so the next thing which i want to talk about is this little swimsuit i've actually never bought a swimsuit from zara i've never bought one i've never thought to i've never thought to do that like my go-to place for swimwear is asos because i like their kind of uh stretchy one size fits all um swimwear they just they're so comfortable and they remind me of the is it hunza was it Hunter? You know that brand, that really bougie, like, it's not really bougie, but it's expensive. They, like, ridiculously expensive swimwear, which you know for well that I'm probably going to treat myself to one at some point this summer because everybody keeps banging on about it and I, I just have to try at least one. But I usually get my swimwear from ASOS. I digress. I thought I would try this swimsuit from Zara. Now, do you know what? I don't think you're going to be swimming in this. I think this is just, like... It's just for the it's just for the it's just for content I believe. It's just for looking good, feeling good, but not actually doing any swimming. And thank God that is what I do when I go on holiday. But anyway, um I saw this and I thought it was so so cute. Like you can either wear it as a actual swimsuit or you can just wear it as a bodysuit. And to be honest, I think I'm probably gonna wear it as a bodysuit. But um the material of it confuses me a little bit because it's really not like a swim material. Like it's really not. But it has like the sticky tip to stop you from wearing it and like and like you know returning it. So only swimwear has that. But when I feel like the inside material and the outside material doesn't really feel like swimwear. Anyway, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
um, and I had to have it. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, and it was £30, which I think is a really good price for a swimsuit. I actually styled it with these trousers here from Abercrombie. So these are just a pair of linen pants with a stretch. They're so, so comfortable. Now, I have quite a few pairs of linen trousers. Like, H&M tends to be my go-to. Um, but I find that the ones from H&M, the linen is a little bit scratchy. Um, I can deal with it. I have... I have tough skin, I guess. I don't know. I'm not very sensitive to stuff like in winter I'll happily wear like na in winter I'll happily wear like natural fibres. H&M linen occasionally can be a little bit scratchy. So the contrast between my H&M linen trousers and these ones is just they're just in a different world. Um so yeah, I picked up these white linen trousers, they're so thick and they're not see-through, they feel so good, they're so soft. They are so so soft so so comfortable i got them in my i got i got them in a medium they fit perfectly you can cinch them in the length is great i think i got them in the regular length oh no i think i got them in the long length so i went for a medium long um because again you know my height um and yeah if you're five foot and if you're five foot eight and above then i would probably recommend you to go for the long length so if you're wanting to invest in a good pair of linen trousers and i would highly recommend these ones from abercrombie they come in different shades all i'm going to say is that anything that i'm talking about here with abercrombie you need to be quick okay because um their things sell out really quickly and they get restocked but they don't do like a full restock it's kind of like a h&m restock where They'll sell out and they'll just do little drops here and there. They're probably returns, which, you know, people have sent back. Um, so if you want anything, I, I would just go for it. And continuing on with Abercrombie, I also picked up these trousers. These actually came as a co-op, but I only got the trousers. Again, I've got these in a medium. They are just gorgeous. They're elasticated at the back, so they're just so comfortable. Again, I have holiday in mind when I pick these up. They're so comfortable. They're a really good length as well. I'm really funny about short things. Like, I'm not, I'm not that girl. Um, but these are a nice length. They're not too... They're not too short and then again i also picked up this top i think they call it a plunge top it's very very flattering it's like a peplum style of top um in summer i tend to wear a lot of like linen shirts and just t-shirts and sometimes you just want a nice top and this is a nice top um it's just a nice comfortable soft linen again a really good material really good fit and um, you can wear it with denim you can wear it with skirts i think i actually styled it with a um, a knit skirt, you can, anything, a, a denim skirt, a short denim skirt, linen trousers, absolutely anything, um, you know, these kind of tops are so versatile. Continuing on with the holiday theme, I also picked up this dress here, it's like a bandeau style dress, I'll just insert the try because I can't really show it properly, just uh, holding it like so. I've been after, I wanted a couple of these kind of dresses, you know the kind of knit whole like you know they're not knit they're crocheted dresses they're the kind of dresses which you just throw on top of your bikini like if you've been sunbathing you just throw it over your bikini you go for lunch come back take it off these are the kind of dresses i'm looking for just really easy dresses to um throw on and off when you're on holiday and i saw this one this was another dress which was sold out for a while and i was literally so lucky that i managed to get it um, everything just worked out. <laughs> I love the kind of ruching lead. I love the detail um, in the bust area. I love how it fits. It's just so comfortable. It does have quite a high slit, but I love it. Um, it's just really, it's really comfortable. And I think it was quite inexpensive. Yeah, it was £32.99, which I think is a really good price. Continuing on with that theme of um, bikini cover-ups. I also got this one here. This is a yellow dress. The uh, um yellow. It's orange. This is an orange cover-up. Again, I just I saw it on the model, and the model had really dark skin, and she just looked incredible. She looked absolutely incredible. It just popped, and I thought, Do you know what? Um, I need to try that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she looks beautiful. Orange is one of my favourite summer colours. I just think it does so much for everybody. Um yeah the only thing with the only thing with this is that i wish it was longer i was hoping that it would be more of an ankle length dress but it's more like of a mid calf which i mean it doesn't bother me too much but i was just hoping it was going to be a little bit longer oh i thought i got a medium but apparently i got a small 
Okay, well the small fit's fine. Continuing on with holiday, I thought I would also pick up an airport outfit. Um, so I got this little lounge set here. Like I love loungewear. I work from home. I'm usually at my desk. Um, so I like to be comfortable. So this is the kind of thing which I like to wear at home, but. I had airport outfit in mind when um, picking up this set. I was actually going to pick it up in store, but my store, I don't know about your Zara, but my Zara is an absolute mess. And um, they had these lounge sets in store, but they'd like been dragged all over the floor and the, and the bottom of them was like all grey and like full of dust. So I was like, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy it online. Um, yeah, I really like the detail here on the sleeves. It's really nice kind of deep it's really nice detail it's so comfortable and um, i love the color of it hopefully it'll come out in like black and other neutral colors as well because i would love another set the next two pieces i love um but i'm not going to keep in them so that's why i showed them at the end because they just didn't work out for me they just didn't hit the way that i thought that they would okay so first one is this dress here i actually picked up a very similar dress like this last year um, it's like the linen material that Zara does. I actually really like their linen blend dresses. I think they're really, really nice and they feel really good quality. However, so I picked one up like this last year and I think I gave up, I think I returned it because it was too short. Um, anyway, I thought I'd pick it up again, but I mean, the length doesn't bother me this year, but what does bother me is that it has, there's a lot of material just like under the armpit area. Um, I don't know whether like I need to adjust it a little bit more at the back or what it is but it's just a lot of material in the armpit area like instead of having this kind of it's kind of what you have on your bra I, can't, I don't know what the name of it is but instead of having that I feel like they I wish they would have just let you tie it tight yourself um because it just doesn't work for me it just leaves loads of material and it doesn't look good um so I don't know and I wish I'd bring this exact same dress like, I love the material i love the sleeves of it i love the silhouette of it i wish i'd bring it out but in like a midi length or yeah i just i wish i'd do that because i would love that it does fit nice but yeah don't love it it's going back the final dress which i'm going to be showing you is this beauty is this beauty here and i'm not going to lie this is what this is one of the top three things that really influence this haul um because I love embroidered. I love embroidery dresses. When it comes to summer, it's like I love dresses. I love really feminine dresses. I love ruffles and embroidery and loads of detail. And this just embodies all of that. However, it just doesn't fit right. I feel like the material of it is like a little bit stiff. It's a little bit of a stiff material. Also, the length of it isn't quite right. Um, it doesn't quite go, I'd love it to really drape at the bottom, that not hit the floor, but nearly hit the floor. So for me, it doesn't do that. The length of it isn't quite right. The material of it just doesn't flow the way, the way that I thought it would. Um, and it overall just doesn't feel comfortable. I feel like on holiday, I might actually get too hot wearing this. Um, but it is beautiful, like it is really, really beautiful at like the back detail is stunning but right now i don't think i'm going to keep it i think i'm going to try it on again if you see it on my instagram then i probably did keep it um but right now i'm just not loving it i'm just i'm not too sure maybe i need to try it on again i've already tried it on once so maybe try it on one more time and then fully decide this dress was a hundred and 10 pounds which is quite a lot of money for zara but look at all the details there's a lot going into this dress like it's beautiful um so i can see why it would be that price like if you were going to be buying this dress from a high-end designer you'd literally need to put another zero after that i think it's beautiful but let me know what you think is this a keeper or should i return it that is it for my zara haul it was quite a long video i hope you enjoyed watching i actually have a couple of other pieces which i'm just not going to bother showing you there's a pair of trousers which i got which are just going to go back and maybe another dress which just doesn't work so that's all that i'm going to show you today i hope you enjoyed this video as always please 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 if you like this video give it a thumbs up because it really helps to push my content out on the algorithm i feel like every day is harder and harder to grow on this platform help you girl out and um, by giving it a quick thumbs up i will catch you all in my next video i'll leave all the links to everything in the description box and yeah i'll catch you all in my next video bye